Hey, good morning. If the nations obeyed God, would they be allowed to stay in their own land? Our reading is from Jeremiah 27, verses 9 to 11 today. Let's pick it up here. Therefore, do not listen to your prophets, your diviners, your dreamers, your soothsayers, or your sorcerers who speak to you, saying, You shall not serve the king of Babylon. For they prophesy a lie to you to remove you far from your land, and I will drive you out, and you will perish. But the nations that bring their necks under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him, I will let them remain in their own land, says the Lord, and they shall till it and dwell in it. So we've been reading Jeremiah 27 the last two mornings, and now this morning, the third morning. God is giving commands to nations. I'm putting Nebuchadnezzar over you. You need to obey. You need to go ahead and accept that situation. It'll go well with you. If you don't accept it, it's going to go poorly for you. It's interesting here that there's all these dreamers and diviners and soothsayers, you know, all these advisors and people that are telling the kings, uh, you know what, you don't have to serve the king of Babylon. Uh, we can get out of this. We can find a way around this. And yet God is telling them, no, you will serve the king of Babylon. Don't listen to these people. So this is plain language. God is requiring these nations to do as he says. But all these other false voices have the preeminence. Why? Because people prefer those false messages. Did you notice in verse 9 what it's called there? They're not called God's prophets. They're no. They're your prophets. You know, you, you, you people that are ready to go into captivity because I'm chastening you. Your prophets, your soothsayers. That's who's being, you know, your advisors. Those are the ones. That, these are people responding to the general will rather than God's will. You know, the nation's being crunched because of it. So the warning is, do not listen to your prophets. Listen to my prophets. Jeremiah is my prophet. So the people prefer these wrong messages. You know, there's a market for these wrong messages. And so people have itching ears. And wherever there's a market, there's somebody filling the market. So you're going to have people out there throwing these crazy uh, ungodly messages that go against God's purpose and God's will. And people will be tempted to uh, embrace those messages. Yeah, well, this prophet says this, but this prophet says that. So this is my prophet. But here's what our text said. Those who obey God will get to remain in their land. Those who disobey him will, will perish. It's going to go very hard for them. And you know, the Bible also tells us that his yoke is easy and his burdens are light. But when you disobey God, it's going to go hard for you. And the nations that obeyed would be able to survive a much less difficult situation than those who disobeyed and then got crunched. We have this wrong idea about freedom. Freedom is freedom to do right. And that means submitting to the will of God. And freedom does not include freedom to disregard him. I mean, we will disregard him and he'll let us go, but wait and see what happens then. We don't want to see what happens then. And as we've mentioned before, we're not completely autonomous. We need air to breathe. We need oxygen. We need water. Or we die. See, we're, we're not completely independent beings. What God has spiritually for us, we need that. And so we're not really designed to be fully autonomous. We're dependent beings. And God is the one that we're dependent upon. God alone exists without absolute necessity. And all other creatures are dependent in some sense. And friend, it is to our advantage to remember that fact. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, in spite of the many theological statements, you know, oh, this, uh, don't be legalistic and uh, don't worry about works and all that, that we know we're not saved by those. And yet it's still true. It's just as true today as it ever was true, as it was true in the time of Jeremiah. Obedience to you is necessary. We need to obey. You have good things for us when we obey. Uh, we somehow have this strange notion that we can just disobey and la di da di da everything's going to be fine. Lord, help us to uh, trust you enough to obey you. There's so many voices. Lord, help us not to listen to the ones that tickle us. Instead, help us to listen to the ones that call us heavenward. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So yes, those nations that listened to God's word and submitted to it, they would enjoy a greater measure of autonomy than those who just chose to be involved in rebellion and, and are going to get crunched by Babylon. Hey, today we have some degree of freedom, probably where you are and you're listening to this. God be with you and you use that freedom for the Lord Jesus Christ.